Welcome to Active Workspace Search, which helps the user intuitively find the data that they need to get their job done. To begin with, the user can simply start typing in the Google-like search box and Active Workspace will provide a list of suggestions that the user can select from. Active Workspace quickly presents the results in a list with thumbnails, certain basic properties, as well as a simple chart. The breadcrumb shows the total count of results, while the bar chart shows the distribution of various kinds of data found, with the count of each type at the top of the bar and the type of data, such as a part or a document. The distribution shows that Active Workspace searches and presents information not only from the properties or the metadata of objects, but also from file contents such as PDF, Microsoft Office, and text files. As can be seen from the results, the search criteria is automatically wildcarded like a lot of other search engines, and the results are ranked based on certain heuristics such as the last modified time, the creation time, a full versus partial match of the search criteria, and others. Active Workspace only presents a limited set of results initially and fetches the rest via a smart pagination system only when the user scroll down, which indicates their intent to be able to see the additional list of data that the search results contain. The user can choose to view the data in a simple list or a tiled view or a table view. In the table view, by simply clicking on the column header, the user can sort the results and this sorts the complete set of data or the results and not just the list of objects that are currently presented. As the user moves from the table view to the other views, the list or the sort order is maintained for them across the various display modes. The user can filter the results by clicking on the bar chart distribution, for example, if they only wanted to see the part objects by clicking on the part bar, Active Workspace will filter and reduce the set of results to only show the number of parts in the results. Active Workspace also provides a filter panel for the user to filter the result set. The user can pick one or more options to filter and the breadcrumbs will automatically update to represent and show the applied filters as well as the count of objects that result by application of those filters. The user can as well apply or get rid of the filters from the breadcrumb if they choose to. The list and order of properties that are presented to the users in the filter panel is completely configurable based on the business needs for a particular customer. In case the user does not want to search with a broad search but knows what particular type of data that they are looking for, they can actually apply a pre-filter right above the search text box. For example, in this case, the user is deciding to look for objects of type part with a criteria of wheel. When the user does that, Active Workspace applies the search criteria as well as the filter as shown in the breadcrumb as well as the filter panel. 
There are two pre-filters provided in Active Workspace. As shown here, one for the owner and one for the type of objects to look for. These two sets are completely configurable based on the business needs. Now once the user has a set of results with the applied filter, they can very easily change the criteria to add additional words and Active Workspace will update the results to honor the user's updated criteria while continuing to apply the previous filters, in this case of part type. As we can see here, the number of results has reduced and the filter of part type is also applied. When multiple words are used for criteria, by default, Active Workspace looks for objects that contain all the words in the criteria. However, if the user wants to look for objects containing either one or the other word in the criteria, they can simply add the word OR, that the Boolean OR, and Active Workspace will return objects that contain either of the criteria. In this case, the results are ranked and ordered so as to show objects that have all the criteria words at the top of the list. In this case, the words wheel and rare are the two criteria words and all the results that contain both of them are shown at the very top of the list while the objects that contain either one of them are shown towards the end or the bottom of the list. In a lot of cases, there are special characters that are used in part numbers or certain characteristics of objects, such as a hyphen. Active Workspace allows you to search using those special characters, as shown in this case, and brings back the results to match your search criteria. A very powerful feature of Active Workspace Search is the ability to search based on geometry using the GeoList engine. As seen here, when the user executes the shape search against the particular object, Active Workspace finds that there are a quite a few other parts in the system whose geometry is similar to the source part. The user can further filter the list of objects coming back from the search results either by using the filter, the shape filter criteria of shape or size, um, as well as applying, if needed, attributes uh, from the properties on the particular objects, such as the user head. Active Workspace also allows users to build advanced queries by using multiple words, booleans, and grouping in parentheses. In this example, the user can build a query to find objects that either have the word bolt or engine in them and they are worked on either by Dan or Ed Active Workspace does the appropriate ranking of results based on the criteria. At any point of time, the user can save their search along with the criteria and filters so as to easily re-execute the same search in future. If there is a particular search that the user executes frequently, then he can pin the search to their home page which gives them a special tile and by simply clicking on the tile 
they can execute the search along with the criteria and filters applied. Active Workspace also remembers a list of most recently executed searches along with their criteria and filters which is available for the user to execute at any point of time or save them if they are interested in doing so. Search is also available to the user while performing certain actions. For example, in this case, when the user wants to attach a document to an existing object, they can simply go to the Search tab and enter the criteria. In this case, Active Workspace is aware that the user is in the process of attaching a document type and hence very smartly lists only document objects in this result set so as to make it easy for the user. Happy, productive, intuitive and easy searching of data using Active Workspace.